Hi, so this morning I wanted to talk about, oh I need a visitor. Hi Sadie, you want to be in the video? Okay, so, okay, you gotta sit down, you gotta sit down. I'll, I'll read it, one of the other. So, yeah, I love it. Good dog. Oh, good dog. This is Sadie. She was our parvo puppy. She was dying and we rescued her and she had a lot of worms. She was really sick, really neglected, little baby puppy. Uh, and now she's a big, healthy, obnoxious dog. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Sadie. All right. Okay. Okay. They like you. Go away. I like you too. Be good. So... Anyway, this week I wanted to talk a little bit about fear and anxiety because a lot of people um, deal with fear and anxiety. I saw a link on Twitter the other day saying that in certain parts of the world, uh, anxiety had bypassed depression as the number one uh, mental health concern amongst people. So. <clears throat> Anxiety is on the rise, and so a lot of us don't even know uh, what that means and what anxiety is and the difference between fear and anxiety. So in this video, I wanted to just talk a little bit about that. So first, let's start by talking about the difference between fear and anxiety. So fear is when you are afraid of some very real thing that is happening in the very present moment right there in front of you and you are very logically afraid because this thing is here and it, you are afraid of it. And so that is different from anxiety because anxiety is where you are worried about something that is either maybe only a perceived fear and it's not actually dangerous. There's a dog moving my table. Or it could also possibly be a future event. So this is still a perceived fear, uh, something that is not even here yet. You're worrying about something that hasn't happened yet and you get stuck obsessing and worrying over something that hasn't even happened. And that's hard. So that's anxiety when you're worrying about something that hasn't happened yet. And fear and anxiety actually serve a very important function in human evolution because, uh, you know, that response in the brain where the chemicals start sending out the adrenaline and everything and you start to feel that heart you know pumping and you get hot and you start to not be able to think that's supposed to tell you to run away when there's danger so there's really good reasons that we have these systems in our body um, but for some reason some of us have these systems where they seem to be tuned up way higher than others and some people are just prone naturally it seems to more anxiety than other people uh, and so it's important that we talk about those things and share and be honest and open about this stuff because it seems like almost everybody has at least some level of anxiety and it would be really great if we start to um, share information on what works for us and how we deal with these problems that way we can all have the knowledge needed to help keep ourselves mentally healthy. So for me, you know, when I notice I am getting into a loop of anxiety, uh, depending on the level, because there are diff definitely different levels, depending on how real a fear is, because if there's a real um, impending situation that you know is pretty much unavoidable, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit logical to have some fear there but it doesn't really do you any good to sit and stress. Uh, so these are some things that I do just to help myself with anxiety. So if it's like a little bit of anxiety and I notice that I'm starting to get worked up about something, you know, I can usually catch myself now, and this has been years of practice to get to this point, where I will say, okay, is this right now? Do you need to, worry? and I would tell myself in my head, do you need to worry about this right now? Like literally right now. And or sometimes I'll just say, ah, ah, right now, right now. And that's like the little word phrase in my head. It's like, nope, right now, right now. You're not allowed to think about that if it's not happening right now. So that's like one anxiety trick that I've been using for a lot of years. Um, and it's, it's getting easier and easier every time you do it. At first, I would like forget to use it. Um, and now it's almost just become a habit. So it's really good. Sometimes it's like it's a more intense situation that doesn't always quite work. Um, but I've got other little tips and tricks, uh, going and 
like maybe going for a run, doing some yoga, um, some good cardio, or just doing some exercise and getting your body moving and just like do a hard exercise, something where you actually have to like really focus on what's happening in your body to get yourself out of your head for a minute, just to give you a break. Um, that can be really helpful to, you know, depending on how much you're trying to burn out. If maybe a peaceful, quiet walk in the woods with your dog or yourself or, you know, might be nice too, just depending on what um, can calm you down. I like to go get on my keyboard and play uh, piano, or I like to draw uh, art and like your passions are really good things to do if you're like feeling anxious. Um, as long as it's engaging enough to get your mind off of whatever it is that's driving you crazy. Um, but you just have to be able to realize when the situation is anxiety first. And I think that's the hard thing for some people. When I was young, I remember not even knowing what anxiety was. Uh, nobody really knows what anxiety is if you don't tell them. Uh, so now that I know what anxiety is, if I see I'm having anxiety, it's much easier for me to just deal with it and then not even go there. Uh, so it's really important to be able to recognize, you know, if, you know, your fear is really fear or if it's just, you know, an anxiety. So anytime, you know, you catch yourself, maybe your brain starts going a bit faster and it gets a little harder to think, you know, maybe uh, your heart's fluttering a little bit or you're sweating, um, you know, pay attention for those signs in your body because sometimes even if you don't realize up here you're getting anxious, your body might start to show anxiety before your brain does. Uh, so learn to like recognize those things. Uh, and then once you realize you're having that feeling, it's like, okay, what am I afraid of? And you can have like the, I have like, you have a question checklist in your head. And then, okay, well, is this something that is literally happening in this very moment right, right now? Is this happening now? Do I have to deal with it now? And that's my now thing that I use. And then just my tricks, you know, I'm not a doctor. I wanted to say that. I'm not a psychologist. I just want to share things that help me because maybe it'll help you. Um, and so that now thing is just really helpful too. Um, and then just kind of... Just trying to, it's, sometimes it's not always easy, easy to be logical for a situation. And then if you realize it's like, I can't really be logical about this right now because you've already gotten so worked up to where it's just past that point, go for a run, go for a walk. Just, you know, get a break because staying in, staying right there in that situation, if you're already getting to that point where you just can't think and function very well, isn't going to be helpful to you. Um, anyway, I really feel like I'm rambling today, uh, but I was just thinking about this because it's really important and it took me a lot of years to figure out a lot of this stuff and I don't want it to take everyone that long so I'm just going to share that and I hope it helps. Anyway, have a great one!